Diabetes means having a high blood glucose and the body has stopped regulating your blood sugar as it should. And uh, diabetes in children, uh, majority of the time it's type 1 diabetes. It's mainly due to autoimmune destruction of uh, your pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells which produce insulin. And insulin is an important hormone which allows glucose to enter into the cell and used for energy. If your insulin is missing or if it's not working, it will lead to a buildup of blood glucose. That is what we call type 1 diabetes and uh, that is the commonest in children. Adults can still have type 1 diabetes, but majority of the time they have type 2 diabetes and it's related with uh, lifestyle, uh, obesity and uh, reduced physical activity. And it's mainly due to resistance to insulin. They are producing insulin, but the body has stopped responding to it. But adults can also get type 1 diabetes. The cause of diabetes in children is a combination of genetic predisposition combined with environmental factors. Uh, what exactly triggers the disease is unknown, but through different research, some viral infections like mumps, rubella, uh, even influenza virus, can actually trigger the disease onset. We have also seen an increase in incidence of type 1 diabetes post-coronavirus. So probably coronavirus can also be uh, implicated as one of the trigger for the, the disease onset, but it's mainly genetic combined with environmental factors. The early warning signs for type 1 diabetes, uh, we can actually summarize them with four T's. T means the child is becoming thinner, more thirsty, getting tired, and going to the toilet frequently. That is, they will have increased urination, uh, increased intake of water, and also they will have weight loss and fatigue. So if a child is peeing a lot, this is uh, one of the early warning signs. Parents need to be aware and take the child for check before uh, complications happen. Some children, they also present with blurring of visions, uh, frequent infections or wound taking too long to heal. Uh, these are also other signs parents should look. Advantage of diagnosing type 1 diabetes early is one, we will prevent the acute complication, which is called uh, DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis. Two, we will also help us to get a good control in the long term and avoid also risk of morbidity and mortality related with the acute complications. Management of type 1 diabetes in children uh, involves use of insulin. As of now, there is no cure for type 1 diabetes and children need to use insulin lifelong. The management component involves balancing your dose of insulin with your activity level and diet. There is no uh, diabetic diet in children. They can have their usual diet. What they need to do is they need to count the uh, grams of carbohydrate in the food and match it with the insulin which the doctor usually gives them an instruction on how to do it and they are educated and as you know children are in active phase of growth there is change in puberty so uh, that needs a frequent monitoring and follow-up with their uh, pediatric endocrinologist. Type 1 diabetes is not preventable because it's not related with any lifestyle factors it's not caused because you are eating a lot of sugar or it's not because you have a family history, it's genetic. And so far there is no prevention to type 1 diabetes. What we can do is early screening and early diagnosis can prevent the acute complications and also the risk of having poor control later.